Shang-Chi is the chemical in weed that gets you high. You feel lightheaded, you feel giddy, sometimes relaxed. Marijuana, you can smoke it, you can eat it in an extract of food, you can inhale it with a vapor pen, or consume it in an oil form. It's especially good for little kids who are taking it as a medicine. No matter the method, THC goes through your bloodstream and into your brain. And there, the THC is going to latch onto these special receptors. When they are stimulated, you release dopamine. It sends signals to various nerve cells all around your body and makes the user feel high. Not all cannabis is going to get you stoned. That's because marijuana contains another chemical known as CBD. That's cannabidiol. Marijuana plants that have low THC and high CBD can work really well as a medicine. They can treat things like epilepsy. It works because the CBD chemical can quiet excessive electrical and chemical activity in the brain. I know this three-year-old girl who went from having 300 seizures a week to two per month after her parents gave her cannabis with high levels of CBD. When it There is unequivocal evidence that habitual or regular marijuana smoking is not harmless and causes respiratory symptoms and airway inflammation. If you take biopsies from the airways of those who smoke crack, cannabis, or tobacco, uh, compared to non-smokers, there was significantly more damage in the lungs of crack smokers, marijuana smokers, and tobacco smokers. And the level of damage seems comparable, uh, especially between the marijuana smokers and tobacco smokers, which is remarkable since the tobacco smokers were smoking about a pack a day, whereas the marijuana smokers were only smoking about 20 joints a week rather than 25 cigarettes a day, and those smoking crack were just doing like a gram or two a week. So to see similar rates of damage between marijuana smokers and cigarette smokers suggests each joint is way worse than each cigarette. And indeed, we've known for 30 years that smoking three or four joints is the equivalent of smoking a pack a day of cigarettes in terms of bronchitis symptoms and acute lung damage. How is that possible? Uh, well, maybe the way they're smoked. Uh, pot smokers inhale more deeply and then hold the smoke in four times longer, resulting in more tar deposition in the lung. And joints are more loosely packed and unfiltered, resulting in both hotter smoke and smokier smoke. And so even though in many ways smoke is smoke, the different method of smoking may explain how a few joints a day appear to cause as much inflammation as an entire pack a day of cigarettes. The visual evidence of airway injury was at times striking. Uh, this is what your airways are supposed to look like, the tubes inside your lungs. Uh, this is your lung. This is your lung on tobacco. Now, see how your airways get all inflamed? And this is your lung on pot. Uh, you get the same kind of inflammation. And what's crazy is that's just five joints a day compared to 26 cigarettes a day in the tobacco smokers. If you compare the respiratory symptoms associated with marijuana versus tobacco, compared to non-smokers, both marijuana smokers and tobacco smokers have elevated rates of chronic cough and excess sputum production, acute episodes of bronchitis, and wheezing. Picture similar to this, stating that marijuana deposits four times more tar in the lungs than tobacco. So, what do you all think? You know, with marijuana, there's no filter on that, right? Compared to a cigarette, so a lot more of those that smoke gets in and your And not plus, it's yeah, yeah. too. I mean, we know right. that people, when they're smoking because, marijuana, yeah, it's... Because it's not just that. Actually, the studies are showing the same, whether it's vaporized, right. you know, or however you're smoking it, whether it's got a filter on it or not, they're still having <laughs> We've this, this so same We've been so hung up on talking about tar. medicinal uses yes. of marijuana, sure. we're forgetting that, hey, right. this is smoking, just like a cigarette. In fact, data shows that it's worse in terms of...
tar. And so you're talking medicinal marijuana. When you're inhaling it, it's now much more concentrated. People inhale it more deeply. And if you even just look at this animation, when you inhale that smoke, it gets deep into the lungs, into those little alveoli, where that's, of course, where the, the THC gets into the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mention the fact that it can be an irritant. Yeah. People with asthma, it can lead to <clears throat> asthma attacks. It could potentially lead to infection. Uh, the biggest thing here is there are over 33 chemicals in marijuana that can lead to cancer, so it's not... <laughs>
Genesis chapter 1 verses 29 through 30. These are the famous verses that many people wrestle to their own destruction. We will use here the 1-2-3 method to rightly comprehend these verses. Let's review. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat. And it was so. What does the term meat mean? According to the Strong's Hebrew Dictionary, meat in this verse is defined as H402, okla, which means food, nothing more and nothing less. So, in context, verses 29 explains that the herbs and fruits were designed specifically for consumption, i.e. food, and not for smoking. In addition, Verses 30 gives greater revelation. It explains how God also gave only herbs to animals, birds, insects, etc. for consumption. So in the beginning, every creature on the face of the earth only ate either fruits or herbs. Conclusion to this segment. In biblical context with accuracy, we've determined that those who say God gave us weed are in fact in great error, hence deceived. God in his infallible wisdom of healing did not include harmful toxins when he thought about saving people from sickness. Again, it is a medical fact that marijuana, if inhaled, defiles and destroys the body without question. <laughs> These questions will be answered in our next piece titled Marijuana Versus the Scriptures. Until next time, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, Shalom.